Melanie wants another date, does she? Hmm. Wow, that was a delicious burger. I'd love to go out for another burger again tonight. That'd be quite nice. <laughs> Welcome back to Cook Serve Delicious, everybody. My name is Bear. So good to see you. We're gonna have burgers on the menu again, because Melanie's all we care about, apparently. Let's swap some of this food rot right off, though. There we go. Get those burgers back on. We're gonna make a bunch of money today, though. That's the good thing, at least, about it. We're gonna make a killing. Fat stacks of cash. How in the world? Oh, that's the same daily special. That's exactly why that's happening. There we go. Buzz isn't terrific right now, but not much we can do about that. I don't know if there's any upgrades we can really afford right now that would be worthwhile either, and I'm pretty sure the answer to that is no, there are not. Actually, that's not the proper answer to that. The proper answer to that is probably something like, you are correct. There we go. That's how I always answer myself, man. That's the key to self-esteem. Just never being wrong. Refusing to accept so. Uh, I think we're done with the menu here. We got the burgers on there. We're gonna make sweet burger love to Melanie. That sounds disgusting. Never bring food into the bedroom, man. It's just... Well, first of all, you just never want to associate food with the bedroom. What you want to do is associate the bedroom with the things that you want to do in the bedroom, you know? Like sleeping. You don't sleep in other places, you sleep in the bedroom, because that's where you're supposed to sleep. Helps your brain out. Your brain is gonna be like, whoa, man. You can't sleep here in a... in an Applebee's. That's just... That's not our bedroom, man. Confusing the hell out of me. You don't want to do that to your brain. Your brain is your friend. Your brain might be your only friend. When the time comes. Sorry, I didn't mean to be, like, overly apocalyptically menacing there. I was just trying to give you a heads up about the Cook, Serve, Delicious Apocalypse coming to a theater near you. Speaking of the Cook, Serve, Delicious Apocalypse, did I just say peaking? Peaking of the apocalypse. Please prepare papers for processing pertinently. Just trying to pop my microphone as much as possible, too. Speaking of the Cook, Serve, Delicious Apocalypse, though, Cook, Serve, Delicious Battle Chef is on the way. And I, for one, I'm very, very excited. And I think you should be, too. Is it Battle Kitchen? Battle Chef? Battle... Battle Cream? Something like that. Something like that. One of those... 40 things. Bomga Hype! One juice and three season. The three seasons juicing. Available to your local Walmart. One, two, three, four, two juice. There we go. Yeah, the Battle Chef thing, man. Cooks are delicious update. Coming around the corner. I'm pretty stoked about that. Probably gonna challenge all my buddies. See who has the, uh, established themselves as Master Chef number one. I think I might have screwed up this lasagna here. Which I'll be so livid about. Oh, good. Don't have to be livid anymore. One more juice as well. Ranch greens and carrots. Beautiful. Gotta love it, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm not really sure what it entails. I haven't, I haven't heard a lot of details about it, but... Damn, if I'm not excited still. You can tell that about me, man. I just get blindly excited for things I know nothing about. It's just kind of my... My glass is half full till I dump it all over my face in an exasperated rage kind of lifestyle. Chopping vegetable soup while I discuss my anger management issues. The way of the world, man. Just where we find ourselves. Hoping to be able to get to uh, three stars pretty soon here. Get all those uh, associated perks. Oh god, Melanie's here. Alright, just... I'm gonna slow cook that meat for you, Mel. Mm-hmm. Mind if I call you Mel, Mel? Hope you don't mind, Mel. A lot of Melanies don't like to be called Mel. But I know you're not like all those other Melanies, are you, Mel? Certainly not. Oh, she's gone. Damn it. I've been talking to Cross-Eyed McGee down here for like a minute. Shit, dude. Well, I'm gonna text her later anyway. Don't matter none. We're good. Relationship solid. Built on a rock. No problem. The C-Blot! God, I love it when they're named after their letters. Makes things so easy for me. 
So far, so good today. Making a decent amount of money, getting that buzz up too. Always a plus. Nice. Oh, suave looking gentleman down here. He's got an eye on this fella now. Doesn't trust him. Neither would I, man. I don't blame you one bit. Look at him in his hat. Shifty as hell. He's gone now, but... You know. You know. He was looking like he was up to... Mischief! You accuse somebody of mischief, man? You're gonna get two reactions. One of two reactions. You're gonna get an admission of guilt... Or a... a stifled giggle. Because you use the word mischief in serious... Accusational form. And that's just silly. Who says mischief, you weirdo? I'm sorry, you're not a weirdo. You just have a... A particular vocabulary about you and nothing... Nothing I say will... Diminish the value of that. Chicken meats, rice, cube, seasoning, bacon, and celery. There we are. Somehow haven't managed to, uh... Screw up a stuffed lasagna yet today, so... You know, that's always a bonus. Crush them toilets, man. That was our, uh, that was our rush hour there, wasn't it? Shoot. That went by pretty quick. That was pretty damn fast. Alrighty. Lots of soups today as well, man. Not a lot of variety. In the soup orders. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I need that three-star cafe for, yo. I gotta get the varied crowd. The Varied Crowd. That's a Tim Allen movie right there, man. If Tim Allen were still in motion pictures. God, dating myself. I saw the Santa Claus when it was first released. Look how old I am. Everybody make fun of the old guy. Ha ha. I'm not even really <laughs> comparatively old. I'm sure a lot of you have the edge on me. Okay, let's go ahead and just do this. Romance your partner with the right slash positive answers. Mine too. I don't even know what you were talking about. Sidewalks are totally awful. Cool. Good food. See ya. Later. Alright. That went well. Nice. Now if we just don't screw up this lasagna. P-S-M-C-R P-S-N C-R Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh my god. Two. Hit two. Oh god. Number locks off. There we go. <laughs> All right. Perfect day. Nice. Pretty good. Nine out of twenty days to three stars. Need another catering service complete. Well, it's two more safety inspections. $250 bonus for the perfect day. Fantastic. Food is on menu rot. Seriously, why did you take away that burrito with the chips in it? Why? Bring it back, bring it back. I love those things. I'm not going to stuff my own burritos with the same kind of chips like a crazy person. I need someone to stuff my burritos. Oh, this is starting to get suggestive. Welcome to Click and Start. Oh, hey! Click and Start is a program that allows you to fund projects that you might find interesting and beneficial to your business. These entrepreneurs are looking for the right amount of funding to make their dreams a reality, and you can benefit from it by being one of the customers for their product. You can choose to either fully fund the project for a guaranteed item or fund the minimum amount and hope that the project meets the funding goal within the next few days. If the project fails to meet its goal, you'll not have to pay any money whatsoever. Nice. We got a random silver ticket there as well, and the wine upgrade is available. Probably gonna go ahead and upgrade either the steak or the chicken here. I think the chicken is probably the easiest one to go with. Brings us up to a $15 price. Go ahead and do that now. Down to 800 bucks, unfortunately. We don't have a lot of money anymore these days. But if we took one of these bets, we could fix that problem. $800 available for the bet today if we get ourselves a 45 combo with nachos, lasagna, fish, and chicken. Fortunately, two of those are on menu rot, but I am willing to make the sacrifice for the sake of the bet. Fish is fully upgraded now, which is fantastic. Throw the nachos on there to replace our, uh, replace our burgers. Not gonna make nearly as much money today, but probably worthwhile for the, uh, sake of the bet here. 
Now, I do want to keep soup on the menu, I think, although... It's a sad thing. Sad thing, not making a ton off that right now. I don't know if I can upgrade it anymore at the moment. I know that's gonna, gonna be uh, capable of being a five-star menu item, so... As soon as those upgrades are available, we'll definitely want to jump on those. Other than that, I think we're uh, ready to go here. Prepared for the day ahead. Let's do it. Nachos, lasagna, fish, and chicken. 45 combo needed. I haven't actually done nachos in quite some time. We didn't upgrade those at all, though, so... Not really of huge concern. Sorry for hitting the pop filter there. Hopefully no one heard that. Can I even... Yeah, I can totally just... No, that's probably making an annoying sound. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Just being a doofus. Just being a big dumb idiot. That's how I roll. Yeah, we're gonna be real slow here today, man. It's just gonna be a... A nice leisurely pace. Oh boy. Smooth goatee though. Look at this, he always shows up next to this guy. There is something amiss about their relationship. They're trying to make it seem as though they don't know one another when they come into this restaurant, always looking the other way. I see through their charade. Something's up. Oh my god, did I really just tenderize this chicken seven times? God damn it. How did that happen? Our first upgraded chicken order and I butcher it. It's all over already. The day is ruined. Can I even get 45 orders at this point? I don't know, man. Let's send that out. Okay, so guacamole. Okay, well, try our damnedest here. Try as we might. We might not, have, might not even get the uh, amount we need, but I guess I gotta be perfect from this point out. Certainly puts the pressure on, doesn't it? Let's see if I can manage. We have fish on the daily special, so that'll help us out quite a bit. Don't have to do too much by way of complicated orders. We have literally all fish on the upcoming orders menu. That's okay with me. Yeah, my God, that'll uh, that'll pad our stats a little bit, won't it? Holy cow! All right, let's see if I can manage not to screw this up. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay, really should not be that difficult of an order. I am being a cottonhead in mini muggins right about now. Season that up. Flush the toilet. Beautiful. Sanitize. Always make sure to sanitize. There's the ground meat. Case of sour cream. Uh, number four and three are gone. Okay. We're only halfway there again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Season and cook. There we go. Okay, so we'll all go into meat. I'm actually starting to remember the, uh... Shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Did I really screw up another thing? All right, tell you what. Tell you what's gonna happen here. I'm not sending out that soup, because we need to make the $800 from this combo. So this soup is sitting here until it burns to a crisp. We're gonna serve them boiled water. Because all the lemon- or all the lemons, all the- <laughs> all the ingredients will have disintegrated by the time they get this soup. I am not hitting the number three. I'm gonna get a 45 combo, and then I will serve your soup, Damn it. Don't look at me like I'm burning your stuff. Is that even gonna burn? Maybe soup doesn't burn. Now that burns, alright. Good to know. We're gonna make friends, you and I. We're gonna be here for a while, don't worry about it. So, uh... Tell me about yourself. You like the name Melanie? Do anything for you? No? Alright. Listen, I'm sorry about your soup, it was just, uh... Got our uh, our new guy back there, Raul. He's he's on his first day. He's struggling a little bit. We're trying to make it a bit easier on him. Let him burn a couple dishes here and there while I try to flirt with the people that ordered them. You know, it's a uh, it's a weird strategy, but I think it's something that maybe will produce some results for us down the down the line. Hope you understand. Really, it's, it's not even so much of a burn soup as it is a burned bridge. Because this relationship could have been something, Mel. I'm calling you that. I don't care if it's your name. 
That's how far I'm taking this. You've, you've made me angry. I'd go so far as to say, Mel, you have peeved me. I do not enjoy being peeved. I don't like saying the word peeved, much less feeling the emotions att attached to it. But, uh, anyway. I can see you've had enough of our little game here. I'm gonna let you go. On one condition. You never speak of this encounter again. You understand, Mel? Good. Get out of here. You burn as hell soup. Ridiculous. What do people expect from me, huh? Certainly not to prepare their orders in a timely fashion. And not burn the hell out of them. Ridiculous. Oh well. We've done all we can to try to appease our... Our ethereal... Commanders. Those that control the cook bets. Appear to be robots, actually. I, for one, welcome our robot cook bet overlords, apparently. Based on my behavioral patterns and exhibitions of praise for their existence. There we go. Eh, still not a bad day. We made about 800 bucks. Actually, a little bit more than that, in fact. Nearly a thousand dollars. All things considered, that's not bad. A couple of, uh, messed up orders, but I think we'll live. Was that even an average order? It was an average order, wasn't it? I don't think that was a bad order. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I seem to remember there being a, uh, uh, a displeased blue face associated with that burned soup. suppose we'll find out pretty soon here. Get one more $15 chicken dish served out to this fine, fine gentleman who I've seen plenty of in my days. Yeah, too average. Oh my god. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How in the world is that an average order? Oh, lordy. That's hilarious. Melanie has a message for you. Odd. I loved our time together, but I'm afraid I'm moving out of town. Please accept this mysterious tickets my grandfather gave me many years ago. I hope I can stop by again sometime in the future. Colin, left parenthesis, dash Melanie. Four mysterious tickets, though. That's pretty good. One eight hundred five dollars added into our account could bring us up to about twenty seven hundred. Safety inspection due today. Many rides occurring as well. Meet me at the CSD. I want to see you at your best. Make at least 50 perfect orders today, no combos. Oh, totally can do that. No problem whatsoever. Alright, we can upgrade chicken again to get up to $20 menu price. Does not, uh, change anything again. Or we could upgrade the steak. Or the wine, actually. For the $25 wine, maybe. Hmm. $15 for the pizza. 12 bucks for the salad. 14 for the pasta. Eh, hmm. First of all, let's look at our menu, I guess, again. Let's take these couple things out, switch off the daily special, throw the steak back on the menu, and, uh, maybe the wine again. Yeah, you know what? I'll go with the wine. I'll throw the salad on for the daily special. I'll throw the wine back in the mix. We'll upgrade the wine here for that $25 menu option. There we go. Probably worthwhile. And is there another bet I could take here? Ooh, if I bought shish kebab. But this is on food rots, probably don't want to do it. Alright. Pizza upgrades available too. Solid. Solid stuff. We got our menu all prepped and ready to go. And this is actually going to do it for this particular episode of Cook, Serve, Delicious, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you're enjoying it. Appreciate that a lot. It does help me, or, uh, help support me in a great, great way. And it's so simple as the click of a button or the tap of a finger if you happen to be watching this on your mobile device. And I greet you directly, if such is the case. Hello there. How's your day going? Are you sitting on the couch? Don't sleep there. Sleep in your bedroom. See the callback. The callback advice to close the episode. Thanks for watching. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.